Hey folks, it's Catherine's Tracks Day 9. This is pretty cool. She has moved about one-tenth of a mile to the southwest of her last location. She's sitting here in the middle of this uh, housing development. Um, there's not a lot of houses. It's a real eco-friendly housing development. Each house has probably around five, to, five or more acres. And uh, I can't even see a house from where I am. But uh, she's come over the ridge and she's down here in this large grassy field with lots of blackberries and right down here she is she's foraging for dewberries which uh, are like a low growing blackberry here's one and she was on the move when I found her crawling through the grass now I'm not gonna bother her the interesting thing is that about 20 feet away we found a new turtle this turtle a really old female never seen her before she's brand new so I'm gonna take her back and mark her and then bring her right back up here later in the day she's really old almost looks like a male though because of the flare at the back of the shell here huh and the flattened shell there's not very much of a dip though in the plastron there's a little bit there so maybe it is a male and uh, might have been on Catherine's trail maybe they know each other so, so I'm going to take uh, this new turtle back and do some data collection. We'll bring her back here and let her go right where we found her. Um, the interesting thing to me is Catherine is traveling here for a reason. Now maybe she's traditionally laid eggs in this area, in this open field. Is she going to stay here the rest of the summer, then head back over to her area where she was discovered? Or does she just range all over this mountain? She's created a pretty good uh, question here. The uh, only thing I'm worried about, though, is, well, this is an open field in a housing development. What may happen? They might decide to put a house here. They might mow all this down. It's got me worried. Uh, I'm going to be making some phone calls because there's a lot of turtles using this spot. Got to protect these guys. So the road is only like 20 feet away. It's a dirt road. Um, it's a, and it's not it's a little travel there's only two or three houses at the end of this road so not many folks are gonna be coming up and down here but I still worry about these turtles um, anyway that's Catherine's tracks for day nine have a good day see you next time I've got a bunch of assistants. Here they are. What's your name? Brandon. Brandon? Yes. All right. And, and, uh, We're going to find a turtle, aren't we? Yes. yes. And I am his cousin. What is your name? I am Rachel. Rachel. How about you? I'm Thomas. Thomas. I'm Granny Pam. Granny Pam? And she is Grandma. our grandmother. Grandpa. All right. Claudia. And, uh, okay. Alice. Carolyn. All righty. Excellent. Let's go find Catherine. All right. Thomas has what the little turtle we're calling Nostril because Nostril has one nostril. And we're taking him back to where I found him the other day, right about 10 feet away from Catherine. So I have a feeling he knows Catherine and she knows him somehow. So we're going to take him back and uh, let him go. So. Let's go. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put this little male turtle back. She's got him. And uh, you can follow me and we'll put her back into it. Watch where you sit, watch the briars. He was right there. If you wanna set him right there on the ground, Okay, and uh, you, you, you want to come in here, I'm going to find um, find Catherine. She's just right over here, but watch out and don't step on him. <laughs> Moved over, son.
see, this is how I found Nostril there the other day. I was looking for her and almost stepped on him. He was just sitting there looking for dewberries just like she is. And there she is, right there. Pick her up and show it, everybody. Oh. That's her transmitter. <laughs> Little beetle. <laughs> we found her. Okay, we'll bring her over to you. Now you can tell this is a very, very old turtle. If you look at these plates on her back, each individual scute, they're really shiny. And there's not a lot of definition, not a lot of lines. You can kind of see the lines here, but just barely. And a younger turtle, like that one shell I showed you earlier, you can see the lines very well defined, the, an the annulus, the annular lines, I'm sorry, annual lines. Um, and so as older, the older they get, the more shiny they get. It's kind of the opposite of us people. The older we get, the more lines we get. <laughs> but it's the opposite with turtles. Because they're crawling around in the bushes all their life, rubbing against things and they're rubbing all those lines off. Um, the, the neat thing about her is she was found over near the barn on Urshan's property, so she's moved this far. And my question is, is she gonna go back over there in the winter to hibernate? Because she was found in May, on May 11th, shortly after the turtles came out of hibernation. And she stayed down there about a month and a half, and then within the last month, decided to come flying over the ridge to here. Now did she, excuse me, did she come to this particular spot for a reason? Maybe because she knew the berries were gonna be ripe. I don't think that's it because we have a lot of berries over there. Maybe this is where she was born and she's like gonna lay her eggs in this field. Hmm. I don't know. Who do you think Catherine is? I think she's somewhere around 80. Mm -hmm. She still, still has, has eggs? Maybe. Oh, they'll, lay, they'll lay eggs up until they die. Really? Yeah, oh my God. as long as they, they're healthy. <laughs> well, yeah. Their legs look so different than his. Oh yeah, She's males really are colorful. typically prettier. Now he was, he, 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 males her, typically have a lot prettier leg scales. But her, hers are pretty. She is pretty. Mm -hmm. Now if you look at one of the turtles in our pen back at Urshine, Tripod, she is a very atypical female. She's got bright, brilliant colors on her head and on her legs. And it's just really That's unusual. Right. But okay. um, males often have red eyes, but sometimes females do and sometimes males will have brown eyes. And then the other day I found a female turtle with yellow eyes. First one I've ever seen. So just like humans, there's all kinds of variation. That's what makes life interesting, I guess.